Hey folks, this is Max and welcome to another no-code video. In this video, I want to show you how to update Google Sheets with the JSON API or another way to look at it, how to update with an external REST API. Uh, so this is, it's based on this blog post, but I'm going to, I'll add the link in the video to this blog post. But I was building um, an app using Glide Apps, uh, which is also a no-code platform for building, specifically for building mobile applications. Let me show you how it looks. Uh, so this is how it looks. Um, again, it's a no-code platform for building mobile apps. But what I really like about Glide is that the back end is based on Google Sheets. Uh, so all this data is coming from Google Sheets, and this is how it looks. All right. Um, so that makes it uh, just the fact that it's no-code. It's it's already very fast, but you know, using Google Sheets makes it even sort of faster to build apps because a lot of people, you know, most people are familiar with Google Sheets. Um, so I build the app, uh, which shows news. Now, also want to show you the, um, the source um, for news is this API. Uh, it's called news API, newsapi.org. Uh, so I build the app and it works. Uh, this is how it looks in the builder. And then this is how it looks uh, in the browser. Um, now, going back here, again, I have the app up and running. Now, I, I thought, how would I update the news, right? Let's say I want to update the news every hour or every two hours. And so, of course, one option is to manually edit this file. And then, of course, you know, it's not a good way to do that, right? I was looking for a way to do this automatically, and then I thought, well, I can do that if I figure out how to update Google Sheets automatically. With um, Once I invoke the service, how would I update Google uh, Sheets document with the latest data? And what I did is that I built this flow in Parabola. Let me show you how it looks. Uh, so this is my flow to um, invoke a service and then push the data to Google Sheets. And then in turn, once the Google Sheets document is updated, uh, Glide picks up the changes automatically. Um, so this is this is the flow now. I use Parabola. Parabola is another no-code platform that allows you to build application logic using this visual approach where every, every step does something very specific and then the data is passed from step to step, right? So I'm gonna now show you how I built the flow. So the first step is API import and that's the step where we invoke an external API. Let's open it. And this is the endpoint right here. And I'm getting news about technology. And then this is the result right here. All right, so we're getting columns, uh, getting 10 rows of 10 different news articles. All right, so that's the first step. Now, I could have just connected API import to Google Sheets and then uh, export all 10 columns, but I decided to uh, draw some of the columns because I don't need them. And that's why I have this filter, column filter step in the middle. And then what it does is that I'm saying that these are the columns I want to keep and the rest just ignore. So this is the output. You can see I only have five columns and this is the input. So this is what's being passed from the previous step. And this has 10 rows, I'm sorry, eight columns. And right here I have only five columns, all right? And then the last step is to just export this data to Google Sheets and you connect Parabola to your Google account, then you specify the file, um, and then you specify into which Google uh, Sheets tab um, you want to uh, save this information, and then you specify whether to override or append, right? Um, and so that's basically it. So what I'm gonna do now is actually run this, but in order to see the changes, I'm going to go here and instead of technology, I'm going to say business. And just click update it, so it kind of uh, rebuilds the flow. Now let's take a quick look back here to see how it looks. So we have Netflix as the first one, and then Apple News as the second item. And then looking at this document, Google Sheets document, this is how it looks. So let's publish. Now I'm gonna click run. This is how you run the flow right away, or you can also test the flow. Um, 
Another option is, of course, you can schedule the float to run periodically uh, as often as 10 minutes. You can always set it to run every hour, once a day, and so on. So let's click Run now. All right. And that's it. So let's first look at this here. And this is now actually showing business news, right? Because we just pushed the data into this file. Now, it might not be as sort of visible here, but let's go to, and you can see that Glide automatically picks up the changes. And now we're seeing uh, news about uh, business news here. Um, and that's pretty much it. So um, let me go just back here. So again, the, the challenge I was trying to solve is how to push new data from an API, external API into Google Sheets, uh, which in turn then was picked up by Glide, right? So I used Parabola to do that. And again, what I really love about this is that I didn't write a single line of code uh, to do that. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.